and welcome. And I've got to say, it's good to be back here in Perth. Tonight, we're coming to you from Optus Stadium. A player who always knew how to find the goals and did so 800 times in his illustrious career. From my point of view, it's a delight to have him as part of the commentary team. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dan. It's great to be here. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Banners ready for the players. The Dockers look tense as they shuffle onto the field. We have the toss of the coin. Lord Adelaide kicking to the left of screen. Waiting for the siren now. And away we go. Sandlins gets the tap. Jonas picks up the bouncing ball. Ebert gets the hand pass. Sends it on its way. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Puts boots a ball. Sheridan is able to grab it on the half volley. Good tap from Ballantyne. Wines handballs it. Gray puts the ball in the hands of fate. Neil slams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Pike tipping it low. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Ballantyne is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. It comes off hands. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Receives the hand pass. Bo kicks the ball. He takes a strong mark. Gray with a clinical drop punt. Five kicks it from the pack. Pierce with the tap. Hartlett gathers. He has the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Ebert can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. That's a nice strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. Boots it. Gray claims it. Boots it. A great effort. Bumps the big skin. We have a scoreboard. You'd see it as soccer match right now. Picked by Ballantyne. Fife marks it. Jams it on the boot now. Ryder grabs that one. Ryder really wears his heart on his sleeve. It's a mark. Sending it on its way. Powell Pepe drops the ball. Tap. He gets a fist to it. He knocks it down. Good tap from Ryder. Gathers the ball. Tapped by Ryder. Guided by Pinner. A rushed kick. Great with the goal. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. He loves it. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy check. Ryder is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Sandilands. Fife decisively. Guided by Neil is in his possession. Pollock slams it on the boot. Nice work from Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. He slams that on the boot. Amon with a strong mark. Shot at goal by Amon. He kicks it, gun barrel straight. The power have scored the last two goals. The power by two goals.
He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Heyman shows the goal umpire the right signal. Umpire has the ball ready for the center bounce. Sandlin's without a touch. The clearance by Ryder gains possession. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. Pollock kicks. Nice mark under pressure. Good drop punt by Ryder. Pollock aims for his man on the ground. Neil on the ball at the moment. Kicks. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Both needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Valentine put the mark. He boots it. Five marks it. He kicks quickly. Great mark. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Jonas with the mighty fist. Boak decisively. Mundy gets a nice bump from Thiebert with the ball now. He gets his hands on the footy. Neil with another possession. Is in his possession. Need gets the ball. Choose to kick it. He has no trouble grabbing that one. Slams it on the boot. His mistake costs him a possession. Gets the loose ball. He kicks with power. Nice hands. Bennell puts it on the boot. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Cuts towards the middle. Pittard with the tap. Guided by Boak. Tapped by Broadbent. It's with him now. Gray taps. Boots it. Solid goal. The Powell could score the last three goals. Port Adelaide by three goals. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. His face says it all. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. There's the bounce. Sandlin's decisively. Rydek on the ball at the moment. Neil collects it. Dishes it off by hand. Clean tap by Jonas. Ebert picks it up. With the ball now. Mundy kicking the ball free of the pack. Booted by Sheridan. Kirsten having no trouble taking that one. A monster kick will be required from here. Kirsten thumps the ball for goal. He'd like that one again. It was a shocker off the boot. Out of bounds on the full it goes. Need keeping calm, and he kicks the ball out of the 50. Richo, how did you see the opening quarter? When someone tells me this is the only way to do things, it really lights a fire under my butt. My instant reaction is I'm going to prove them wrong. Fremantle will need some of that fire in the next quarter to get back into this game. Time to check those stats. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. Port Adelaide was slightly ahead with 7 to 5. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. A quick break and we're back at it. The winners in life constantly think in terms of I can, I will, and I am. Ball up in the centre square. Guided by Ryder. Clean tap by Jonas. Winds decisively. Bennell picks up the loose ball. He gets the hand pass. Possession number one for Wilson. Goal. Fremantle get there first. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Wilson is relieved to see that one go through. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Sandlins really gets onto this one. Jonas with the ball. He has a mighty kick of the footy. A great effort. That drop punt works well for Walters. Sends the Sharon on its way. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 
A long way out. Gets boot to leather. Kirsten claims the ball. 40 meters out. Kirsten slams one on the boot for goal. Look at that. He's put it through. He sinks his first goal. That's two in a row for Fremantle. Fremantle, no need to worry just yet. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Kirsten knows that was something special. Umpire has the ball, ready for the center bounce. Guided down nicely by Grider. The ball in the hands of Fife. Fife loves the physical side of the game. It's tapped down nicely. He taps the ball. Wines, kicks it. He steals the ball on the bounce. Ryder heading in now. Polek shoots for goal. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. Piers to bring it in. Kick to himself. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thumb. Ryder looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Cleary claims it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Couldn't hold on to the mark. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Pittard lining up. Low spearing kick. Pollock gets it on the bounce. Going for goal number one. The power with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 25 to 12. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Pollock knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. Sandlins really gets onto this one. Neil puts it on the boot. Out of bounds it goes. The umpire has thrown it in. Sandlin's not even close to getting a hit out. He might have to take a leaf out of the karate kid and sweep the knee. Neil kicks from the pack. He wins the contest. 30 meters out. Wilson launches one towards goal. The dock is no need to worry just yet. Wilson may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Very happy with that kick. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Rydek with the tap. He but onto the ball. He brings it out of the pack. Pittard marks it. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Sends it on its way. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Pollock has it. 30 meters out. Pollock thumps the ball for goal. Only a behind. The power by eight points. Pierce assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Puts boot to ball. Pierce has it. Pierce. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Boat kicks the ball. Flurry misses the ball. He taps the ball. Hamling gathers the ball, gives it to the running man. Ryder takes the mark uncontested. Jams it on the boot now. Great with the mighty fist. Picked up the ball. Johnson aims for his man on the ground. Hamling sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Chalk up a goal for Kapow. The power with the upper hand in this match. 
And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 32 to 18. Port Adelaide for taking their time and looking for the safe marking option in the forward line. Most of their goal production is coming from set shots and it's paying off for them. That replay shows just how good that goal was. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. All is in readiness. The ball has been bounced. Rydek with the hit. He picks up the loose ball. Pittard gets the upper hand. Kicks. Great mark under pressure. 40 metres out. Pollock tries his luck with a shot at goal. Slots it. Pollock kicks number two. Port Adelaide have scored the last two goals. The power by 20 points. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. His teammates rush over. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. West off punches. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. An absolute mongrel from Neil gets the loose ball. He's had lots of touches this match. It goes through for a behind. This game almost out of reach for Fremantle. Might have to kick it to himself. Valentine with the pass. Bennell heads in for the goals. A goal for Fremantle. That's his first. The Dockers, they're starting to drop behind. Bennell will want to try and wheel around onto his favoured foot, but he's still very capable on the other. He's loving that replay. <laughs> And he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Sandlin's without a touch. The clearance by Questoff. Hamling has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He knocks it down. He gets a fist to it. He boots it. That's a mark. Sending it on its way. Mundy marks it. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Going for goal number two. Kirsten slots the goal. That's two in a row for the Dockers. Fremantle trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. His teammates rush over. All is in readiness. Good bounce. Westhoff aims for his man on the ground. Was that a throw? I think it was. Gets boot to leather. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Dockers' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. Wilson finds the running player. He could not have kicked that any better. Three man or trail. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Wilson chose the goal umpire the right signal. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Westhoff is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He slams that on the boot. Polek takes the uncontested mark. 
Polek takes a shot. The power get the goal. Port Adelaide by seven points. I gotta say that's even a better goal the second time around. His teammates rush over. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Umpire bounces the ball. Westhoff aims for his man on the ground. Valentine gets the ball. Lovely hand pass hits the man. The siren sounds and that's the end of the second term. The scores for power 44 to the Dockers 37. It looks like the Dockers have not been themselves in the first half. I'll tip them to come out firing in the second half. But for the power fans out there, it certainly has been a polished first half performance. Hey, nice play Shakespeare. Time to see if there's anything interesting in amongst the stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Thanks, Richo. We're halfway through the game now. I can't wait for the next half. Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. Rydek knocks it down the field. Clean tap by Pollock. He takes control of the loose ball. Hamlin slams it on the boot. Marked by Matera. Look, the Dockers haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. It's a mark. Lining it up with the goal now. Kirsten going for number three. The Dockers add one to their tally. Three now no time to drop off. Less than a kick, the difference. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The ball has been bounced. Rydek with the punch. Wines comes away with the ball. The ball goes out of bounds. The Ruckman hard at it. Sandlin's try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Gray comes away with the ball. Puts boot to ball. The mark is taken by Watts. Watts is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. It's a mark. Five with the kick. Tap. Clean tap by Jonas. The bouncing ball is controlled. Takes that one strongly. Craig slams it on the boot. Neil looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Good mark by Wines. Picks it. A good mark under the circumstances. Sends it on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Ryder, he's just an absolute superstar when it comes to marking. Amon with a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. He takes the contested mark. Pumps it inside the 50. Pollock, the better man there. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Pollock takes aim for goals. Pollock scores with a beautiful kick. The power on seven points. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. He loves it. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Rydek with the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Whack. Have that, mate. Cleary taps it. 
Pollock with the mighty fist. Spur gets the ball out of the pack. A stab kick from Spray. Sandlands has got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. He boots it. He grabs it. Mundy lining up with the goals. Mundy takes a shot. Gets the loose ball. Is in his possession. Squeezes out a handball. It's been intercepted by the opposition. He spent that one before he had it. He receives the handball. Kick by Wines. Strong mark. Jams it on the boot. Nice hands. A rushed kick. Boked the better man there. The power haven't taken many inside 50 forward marks. And their ability to nail goals on the run is what's keeping them in front of the Dockers. Gray boots it. A nice contested mark. 30 metres out. Kicked a goal by Bayman. Fantastic goal by Bayman. That's two in a row for Kapow. Port Adelaide with a handy break, leading Fremantle 56 to 43. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. A dead straight bounce. Sandlin's taps. He gains possession, booted by Ballantyne. Materic in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. His kicking is unbelievable. Some people don't go that far for their holidays. Lucky bounds collected. Wilson takes a shot at goal. The Dockers will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Wilson knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The umpire has bounced the ball. Rydek with first hands to the ball. Slams it on the boot. Nice work from Wines. Chips it down towards half forward. Pollock gets the mark without contest. Pollock, it's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Ryder with the shot. The power are in front. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Gray grabs it and takes off. Look at him go. Tantalizingly close. Behind. The power by nine. Pierce assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Clory grabs it and takes off. Look at him go. That was a super grab. He kicks it. I lost for words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richard? You, you just cannot afford to miss shots like that. Pierce gets set to kick it back in. He decides to play on. He pumped that one. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Great just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Puts boots aboard. Westall. We've got a ball up. Slapped away. He just pulled an absolute rabbit out of his sock. The power lead three metal 65 to 49. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. His face says it all. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Sandlins directs it down, hand passed by Fife. He gives the ball away. Clure dishes it off by hand. Ballantyne kicks. Need gets the upper hand. Need obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Jonas with the kick. He claims the ball. And we have a ball up. 
Westhoff with the hit. Walters decisively takes control of the bouncing ball. Matirik slams it on the boot. Richo, what do you think about that? The power will be looking to close out this match ruthlessly and get a healthy percentage boost in the process. The third quarter ends with some high scoring on the board. We'll go to Richo for the stats. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The power on 45 and Fremantle on 41. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. Both teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Bennell decisively. He knocks the ball across the line. Clears now. Takes that one strongly. The power could bypassing their forward targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside forward 50. Great hands. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. Broadbent kicks the ball. Ebert wins the contested ball. Kicks. Great grab. Kicks it across the ground. Rydick has it. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Rydick launches one towards goal. Two for a point. Port Adelaide with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading the Dockers 66 to 49. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Sutcliffe controls. Walters gets the tap. Clean tap by Sandilands. Tapped by Wines. Pollock controls it. Sandilands guides it. Ebert taps it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He runs for home. Rydek pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The power leads by 23. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. All is in readiness. The bounce is dead straight. Punch by Sandilands. Jonas picks up the loose ball. Jonas may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He slams that on the boot. Sheridan marks the ball. Sending it on its way. Great hands. Wines, boots it. That's a mark. Picked by Vogue. Spurk looking to make them pay for that turnover. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. I guess it was worth a go. Picked up the ball, Cleary lays it off by hand, slams it on the boot. Gray claims the ball. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Gray steers the ball towards goal. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. This lead getting bigger now. There's one for the time capsule. His teammates rush over. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlins punches it, able to grab it on the half volley. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punch. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Walks it across the ground. Strong mark. Going for goal number two. The goal for Kapow. Good Adelaide could score the last four goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin.
There's one for the time capsule. Rydek loves that. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Rydek guides it. Hamling sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Goes up the line. Hands like dinner plates. 50 metres out. Jams it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. A pretty safe bet from this position. Going for goal number one. Fremantle get a goal. That puts them back in contention. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Congratulated by his teammates. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Rydek knocks it down the field. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Amon, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Polek has a kick. Polek has slotted it through for a six-pointer. Port Adelaide per over Fremantle. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Pollock is relieved to see that one go through. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Huge leap. Scoops up the bouncing ball. The umpire says, give it to me. Ryder hardly provided a challenge. He controls the bouncing ball. Approaching the goals now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 30 metres out. Wilson must be aware of the pressure he's under. This needs to go through. Consolation goals are all they can hope for now. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Celebration time after that one for Wilson. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Ryder gets the tap, Ebert with the football, slams it on the boot, wins the hard ball. Sends it on its way. Nice contested mark by five. Looks like he panicked there. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. His mistake costs him a possession. Bettle with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Nice mark there. Kirsten getting into position for the kick. Kirsten takes a shot at goal. So close, but just misses. They really needed a goal there. It looks like they won't bridge the gap before this clock runs out. Burn Jones will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Need slams it on the boot. Wines presents and takes the mark. Kicked in a flurry. Omsch has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Omsch sends one up towards the wing. Fife gets the upper hand. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Keeps it close to the ground. Nice work from both. Bumps the big skin. Rydek wins the marking contest. Boots it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 45 metres out. Looking for another goal here. Would Adelaide add one to their tally? Heyman, with that kick, has increased the lead. That could be the final nail in the coffin.
He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Heyman shows the goal umpire the right signal. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Punch by Ryder. Hamlin made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Sanderlands gets onto the ball. Ballantyne with the spoil. He taps the ball. He taps it. Bike collects it. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Gray with the ball. Boak with the kick. He marks the ball. Good idea. Lining up. 65 metres out. Boots it. Broad bent with a chance if he keeps a cool head. 50 metres out. Goes wide for a behind. Not the most exciting match. No real competition between the teams. Disappointing. How did you see the game, Richard? No other way to describe that performance. That was pathetic. Final scores are 97 to 62. Thanks for joining us, Richo, but that's all we have time for. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.